<laughs> I know, right? That's... Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, makes me sad. That's okay. We just gonna switch back to Banjo. Uh, we gonna get the egg and we gonna move on. We'll come back later. I don't feel like going through that again. Making y'all watch that again. Gosh. Oh, wait. I can just cut. Psych. I'm going back. Dude, just his little backpack. It's kind of funny. His little backpack and his little... Look, it looks like... Are those his eyes you see popping up? Blinking. Like his little eyes blinking. That's kind of creepy looking. <laughs> eyes. It's a good time. Alright, bro. Make me back into a bear. I don't want to be this alligator no more. It's torture. And now I gotta go back through the swamp. I wish you could... I wish it was like um, a jump pad or something on this side so you didn't have to do this as Banjo. You could just jump over the wall. That way you still had to do the maze to get in, but to leave you didn't have to. That would be pretty nice. Dude, shortcut. Have you played the second one, uh, Banjo uh, Tui? Have you played that one as well, or just the first one? Wait, hold on. Where was where I was supposed? Oh, it's over there. Oh, okay. Well, they have it for Xbox Marketplace. It's um, I think it's like 15 bucks. It's probably worth it. Um, yeah, I played the second one. I didn't play the second one as much. I played the first one. And to be honest, I like the simplicity of, simplicity of the first one. The second one, uh, the second one, um, got a little. Um, there's a there was a lot to the second one. Like you had to backtrack a bunch, and it was fine. But I really enjoyed. Whoops, I really enjoyed the simpleness of the first one. Just go to each level, beat it. Um, I'm playing on an Xbox One controller, just a regular Xbox One controller. Yeah, a lot of people do like the second one better, but I think I actually prefer the first one just because, um, nostalgia. Like, it's literally the f one of the... I remember sitting and watching my brother play it, and then I remember it's one of the first platformers I played. Um, I remember having to go get my brother to help me beat level parts and stuff, and, uh, it's just really... I really... What am I doing? Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just nostalgia, really. And then, I would have thought by now, it's been so long since they've made the second game, I thought they would have made a third, but no. That didn't happen. And I don't know if it ever will happen. We shall see. They are good memories, for sure. That and Mar Super Mario 64. That was another one I played a bunch, and I'm not paying attention. And Sonic Adventures too. Yeah, I played that game a bunch. I know it's not that good, but I loved it. Oh, Donkey Kong Country 64. Yeah, um, I didn't like that one as much, but I did play that one quite a bit. All right, let's just go ahead and unlock the next world. Bubba Gump Swamp. It's like Force Gump reference. Bubble Gump. I always thought it was Bubba Gump, not Bubble Gump. <laughs> I just now realize it's not. It's it's not even Bubba Gump. It's Bubba. I always called it Bubba Gump, and it's a Bubble Glop. Glop. Yeah, this whole time I've been calling it the wrong name. I guess I always wanted it to be a Force Gump Gump, Gump reference, but I guess it's not.
I don't know if this was the ones I was supposed to go for on the thing or not. We'll never find out. Yeah, DK64 was kind of a long game. Honestly, I remember it being like long and there being a lot to it. I don't think I ever beat it either. I don't think I can do this yet. Oh! Alright, so we'll come back and do that. Because we have to beat the come back uh, anyways to do the beat the gator. And then we'll go in there with the <sighs> Yeah, I like the snow level as well. It's a good level. And this one as well, I think you also need the speed shoes to beat, because you have to race the um is it a bear? The bear dad? Uh, oh, shoot. What am I doing? I'm not even paying attention. Yeah, you have to race the polar bear. So we're just going to have to come back and do that later. Are you serious? It's kind of annoying. Okay, we get this. And look, did they all roll in? Nope. Dude, this soundtrack in this game is incredible. I've only said it like 50 times since I started playing this game, but it's just true. It just is incredible. Alright, so I don't remember. I think you go up. Yeah, you go this way. It's all coming back. I'm just, uh, dreading Rusty Bucket Bay. I hate that level. That's my least favorite level. That and Clanker's Cavern. But we got through Clanker's Cavern. Not that bad. Um, no, no, no. I'm streaming on Xbox One. I'm using the Twitch app. And I'm just broadcasting my, my whole... Xbox, so it records my voice and everything, and then if I set on Twitch to keep the videos, I can just use the videos and chop them up if I want it. So yeah, I'm just broadcasting live from Twitch, the Twitch app. It's pretty cool. It's uh, really easy. But the thing is, like, I couldn't play on Switch or anything like that. I'd have to have a capture card for to play anything other than Xbox. One or Xbox 360 games, but it's pretty cool. Oh, whoops! <laughs> Are you Yeah, the, the, the auto quality is not bad. I actually don't have a, that good of a mic. I'm probably going to get a better mic. So, like, yeah, the auto quality, audio quality is pretty good. And I'm not even using a good mic. I'm just using the stock Xbox, three, uh, Xbox One mic. Like, so. I'm definitely going to get a better mic, for sure. Yeah, Mike is okay. Yeah, I, I figured probably wasn't the best, but it's not bad. I like a better one anyways. I'd like to be able to hear the audio from the game and the headset. That'd be kind of nice, so. Oh really? I can keep that mic? Oh cool. But I still may get a new one because it's not very comfortable in my head. It kind of hurts, honestly. It sits at a weird angle. I got a big head. <laughs> I do exhale my nose into my mic. Yeah, I could see that. Well, I reach up to also like scratch my nose and I hit my mic. So that that's also happens.
Uh, yeah, so don't scratch your nose. Note to self. <laughs> and, um... I was mentioning this earlier, I don't know if you were here when I was saying it, but I wish the hitbox on the music note was a little bigger. Let's see, let's just go ahead and do... There's a system to these levels, you gotta like, do one at a time. If you jump around, you're gonna miss stuff. Are you- oh, he- Dude, these things are annoying. Nice. He snuck by. That one's not gonna get by. Oh, he did get by. Sweet. Oh, that one didn't get by, though. And that one didn't get by. Are you serious? Okay, now we should be good. Oh, we got plenty of time. We got 43 seconds. Oh, we got this. It wasn't as close as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was way more punishing than this. Oh, whoops. Oh, I didn't I didn't even hit this one. Oh, I need one more. Oop. There we go. Should be good. Oh, I can't even... It wouldn't let me leave the track till it was finished. That's funny. Get me stuck to the track. I did not know that. Alright, so flying in this game is not my friend. And I have to do some flying in this level, so not necessarily gonna be fun. This is I think this is kind of a cool enemy that they added. I got it. Like, the magic, the magic number in these games is three. Everybody knows that. What was I thinking? Oh, I gotta fly through the star. Oh, I gotta get the, oh. Okay, okay, I'm going. I probably have to... I got it more than once. Oh yeah, three. I just I literally just said three is the magic number in this game. All right, here we go. Yeah, I really, I really do like this level. It's a good level. It's got good music. We'll get that present on the way out. And all that stuff. I like the layout of this level. I like how um, there's like, I feel like there's a lot going on and there's a lot of different places to explore and it's pretty cool. But it's not confusing. Like, I get confused at Mad Monster Mansion, remembering what windows I've gone into and what windows I haven't. And stuff, so, like, yeah, I get confused sometimes at that level. Gobi's Desert with all the pyramids, that, yeah. I don't know, I definitely like this level. Oh, yeah, Click Clock Woods? That's a good one. That's a good, that's a very good level as well. Honestly, I really like Treasure Trove Cove, the second one with the pirate ship and everything, the beach. I really like that level. Except for Snackers, the shark, I don't like him. He kind of stinks. Time for some aerial action. We gotta learn the devastating beak bomb. All right, here we go. So when people do, I don't know if you've ever seen anybody do Mad Monster Mansion. Yeah, that one's, that one's fun. 
I do like that level. Um, but uh, there are some parts in that level that always get out of um, Have you ever seen someone do a speedrun in this game? It's insane. So they do this glitch from the very beginning, so they have already learned all the moves as soon as the game starts. And they, there's a there's a lot to a speedrun of this game. It's it's I'm in watching one. It's it's uh it's crazy. You could just like world record of the hundred percent. It's uh it's insane. I think they beat the entire game and get everything, and I think like, oh, I think the world record is a little under two hours, like 158, 159, something like that. An hour and 59 minutes, it's crazy. Oh, that's the ground, that's the ground. <laughs> Alright, so, note to self, don't beat bomb at ground. Okay. I gotta get lower, I gotta get on their level. And make it a lot easier. Oh, almost got smoked. That looks good. That feels good to me. Nope, a little low. That's good though. I wish there was a way to fly faster, not just higher. Like, just fly faster forward. Right, maybe? Nice. Dude, I'm not doing as bad as I thought I was going to do. Probably shouldn't have said that yet. There's still plenty of chances for me to mess this up. Just, okay. I dug, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I didn't land. Ooh. Oh! I just realized I forgot to get the honeycomb pieces in the in the last level. Like the extra life honeycomb pieces. Well, we do have to revisit that level, so we'll get them then. Alright, so now we gotta hit all the buttons. And then I think we are finished with flying in this level. That's the belly. Oh, I'm oh I'm inside the button. Yeah, one thing about these games, the 64 3D platformers, the ones that came on the 64, uh, the controls can be a little frustrating at times. Oh, flew too high. Are you? I didn't know you could land on him there. Well, that's not good. Um, this is awkward. So, uh, jump? Alright, we'll take that. That's, that's best case scenario. Oh, I probably could have jumped to the scarf. That would have been cool. Oh, I should have tried that. I looked too late. I think there's a flying pad up there. We'll get it. Alright, so... Let's go get this. I feel like I've been more sporadic in this level. I've not been sticking to a path, so... Oh, I forgot. You get to become the walrus in this level. That's right. Dude, that's the best. Being a walrus... So it's what I've always wanted in life. Oh, whoops. Wait, who's whistling it? Oh, he's back around the back of the house? Hey! That is cool that the Jinjos make noise when you're around them. That's helpful. Yeah, from like this point on, I don't remember the levels as well. So it's gonna, it's probably gonna take me longer to beat the levels as they were in the beginning. Because in the beginning, I knew the levels really well. Because I played them so much. Wait, am I just the backside? 
I'm on the wrong side now. Yes. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it's... I don't even... Where am I even going? There they are. Oh my goodness. Oh. What? That counted. Dude, like you hit all the buttons and he, he like, it looks like you pooped. That's not a, that's funny. All right, did I get it? Yes. Yeah, that's right. You got it. You're getting the presents for the ungrateful little bears. Or, no, they're not ungrateful. They're just sad because they lost their gifts. Dude, we're... Alright, I, I hit over top of him. Alright, so this is where I walk around and collect these, and I slide off the hat, and have to come all the way back up just for like one music note. This is, that's what's gonna happen. You just wait. It didn't happen. Sweet! Alright, so... I'm not quite... Oh, there's the hole. I was about to say, there's gotta be a way to get down here other than just jumping. So I gotta climb all the way back up the scarf anyways to collect all this stuff. I don't... And then I have to also go down the sled. Ugh. Oh, there's something in the in the pipe. I believe. Nice. Now we now we land. Like, okay, let's think about this. If I really did this and landed on this bear's this polar bear's stomach, he gonna be dead. But instead, he just simply throws a jiggy. I mean, that just don't make no sense. I know, right? Like, 